So now let's check the Everlane page and see what's next. Here we have our hero, and then we have a section of columns. So let's go and make that. Let's pull in columns. In the Insert tab, you'll see columns on the first row here. So let's drag and drop those onto our page beneath the box that contains our picture. The Everlane page had five columns. The default here is two. If we hover, we'll see that one of the options we have is columns. Click on columns. When you have columns selected, you can click edit. Here you can add columns. So let's add three more. One, two, three. The next thing to do would be to add images. I'll add the first image so we can do it together. Then I'll step away, do the rest, have them for you in just a moment. I can always tell what I have selected by what this little box says right here. If I click on an image, it'll say image. If instead I click on the columns, it'll say columns. I want to click on the image so that I can get to the image settings. And then I'm going to click edit and then choose photo just like I did for the hero. And then I'll pick a picture, yellow sweater. Now I have my first picture. I'm going to go add these other pictures. I'll be right back. Okay, I've added all of the pictures. Now we can work on the text that's underneath the pictures in our columns. First, I'm going to drag in a box, which you can find up here in the insert tab. And I'm just gonna drop that past my columns here. So that's just giving me a little bit of space so that I can scroll around and look a little more closely at my text. On the Everlane homepage, they have a little bit of copy under there. First, what we can do is type in the title, women's, and here we can just use all caps like they have. And then we can go over to the right-hand side in the style tab, and we can change the color to a dark gray. And we can change the font size to 11 pixels. We need to have it aligned to the left. Over here on the right hand side, we have our icons for justifying our text. So let's make this left justified. There we go. If we click on our little bit of text, we can see up above there's some stuff going on there. There's something there. So we can scroll down a little bit more underneath our margin and padding section. And we can see that we have a margin top of 30 pixels. We don't need that because if we look at the Everlane site, you can see that it's pretty close. Let's go back to ours and let's reduce that significantly. Let's try 10 pixels. Our columns come with a default of only one text box, but we can add more. So let's go over to the insert tab on the left hand side and grab a text block and put that just under women's. There we go. And we can type in something like sunny yellow. Let's format this so it looks a little bit more like the Everlane header. So we need to be left justified. And let's make this uh, gray. And we have a little bit of uh, margin and padding there that is a little bit more than we need. So if we remove it, it'll bump it up right against the top. Let's try 10. And let's increase our font size just a little bit. Let's try 20 pixels. I'm gonna go do the third section of copy with all the same techniques we've already covered. I'll be right back. Our next step is to create the next section of columns. So let's take a look at the Everlane page for reference. Okay, we've got our hero, got some columns, and now we need three columns. It's going to be the same. So we have three here and we just did five. So it's gonna be the same technique. So we're going to go over here and grab some columns and drag them in and we can put them just above that box. We can see that we have two pictures and we just need to add a third. So let's click on the columns. So now we've selected columns, we can click the edit button and we can add another column. Then we can add pictures and text just like we did above. Let's check the Everlane homepage to see what's next. We can see that the text is centered, the header is a little bit darker and a little bit larger, and then the blurb just underneath that is smaller and a lighter gray. To make your text look like that, you would just center your text, change the color, and select a font, all in that typography section of the Style tab. That completes part two of the Getting Started. Continue to step three to learn how to create the next part of the page.